I want to go back to 2009 to an article I posted from Valerie Borzov's training methods and how he used his split times to predict his 60, 100, or 200 meter times. Hi, I'm Jimson Lee for speedendurance.com and welcome to Speed Endurance TV. Now, I'm going to just show you this picture here, which is a bit scary, but don't worry, it will be uh, very logical by the time we're finished with the video. So in the article, and that's the upper left-hand corner of this picture, you can see how he used his 30 meter time and he got his 60 time. And then from there, he was able to get his 100 and 200 meter time. Now his calculation from 200 to 100, he adds 0 0.4 seconds, but I like to use plus or minus uh, 0 0.2 because it depends on the athlete what kind of training? Are they a 60, 100 meter person or are they one, two person? So this is a bit up for debate. Now you can see that in the article, and this is back in the seventies, how he used one full second to account for acceleration from a 30 meter fly time of say 2.5, his start time or crouch time is 3.5. So that's a 1.0 differential now, there are some argument that should be 1.1 or 1.2, 1.14, but for simplicity's sake, we'll use just one full second, 1.0. Today, obviously, we have better timing equipment. Uh, I personally use free lap. I can get down to the hundreds of a second, but if you have a good coach and a good stopwatch, there's no reason why the tenth of a second can't be any better. So that's for timing. Now, you can see how for hand times to convert it to fat time, which stands for fully automatic timing, it's either 0.14 or 0.24, depending on what your preference. The reason why um, it's 0.24 is the distance from the 100 meter line to your eye. And that's why there's the, as opposed to a 400 meter hand time, you're right at the start line. And that's the difference of either point. 14.24. But in any case, we can look at differences here in the um the times. Now, back in my day, which was a long time ago, um, down to the bottom left here, 0. 0.83 second 10 meter split was the holy grail for world class printers. And that equates to 12 meter per second. So in terms of units the old days was always using either a meter per second or 10 meter splits. And that's how we calculate it. And you can see Murray screen was able to achieve those splits among other athletes at the time. Now, obviously Usain Bolt destroyed those tables completely. And that's why, you know, I put that in the article as well. Now, the thing is when people talk about units, um, we can brag about how fast we can run. Now, I know based on my time, when I was an open athlete, my 60 meter time, which I ran at least 30 times, was 7.16. And my 100 meter time, which I also ran several, several times, was 10.92. So when you subtract those two, my last 40 meters was seven, no, 3.76 seconds, which accounts to 0.94 for a 10 meter split. And that is also about 10.5 meter per second. So I can brag about running 23, 24 miles per hour, or I can run 37 or 38 kilometers per hour at my top speed. I mean, um, but, you know, speaking about bragging, I think the internet and especially Twitter have gotten a bit out of hand about bragging rights because now their units that they brag about is always in miles per hour. You always see some athletes, high school athletes saying, oh, my top end speed was, you know, 20, 24.85 miles per hour, or I ran 26.32 miles per hour. Um, you know, that's fine and great. But if we all talk the same language, they were just referring to a 10 meter split here from free lap technology or maybe a brower. But that's the you know, the people, the internet is just going crazy about um, units. 
Uh, to me, at the end, the only only time that matters is your 100 meter time or your 200 meter time. And ideally a fat time, not a hand time from a all comers meet. To me, that's the only thing that matters. The next thing that matters is a championship meet and whether you meddled or not, that's it really. All this stuff is just helping you train. And if you go back to the Valerie Borzov article, it's all about training, all about using tools he had to get better and better and better every time. So that's that. The other thing that the Twitter world has gotten, especially in the springtime, is 40-yard dash. Now, 40-yard dash, as you know, is really 36.58 meters for those who live in metric world like I do. And it's an extrapolation that you can use en route from a 30 to 40-meter split. You can use any calculator um, to determine that. And I don't even bother trying because the 40 yard dash at the NFL combine is timed differently than how we time track and field with reaction times, uh, surfaces and so on and so forth. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, 40 yard dash. Yeah. It's a metric. It's a number, uh, just like my net worth is a number as well. But at the end of the day, what really matters is your hundred meter time or your 200 meter time and or 60 or whatever race you're doing so and that's it really I, I i was going on a bit of a rant but i think at the end of the day it's the tools you have to get better and better and, and that's where we should end it <laughs>